good morning from Yellow River State Forest. Yep, it's time to get up. Ten hours in the hammock. Eight o'clock to six o'clock is way too long. Comfortable, yes, but it goes nuts. It's only bad thing about winter camping. Um, for breakfast today, we're gonna obviously get some coffee going first things first. Um, but then we're gonna have some breakfast burritos, some hash brown, some cheese, some bacon, and we was gonna have eggs, but the eggs froze. So we won't have any eggs in our breakfast burritos, but that'll be fine. They'll still be good because obviously we have bacon. So time to get cooking. Here we go. It's taken down for the day. Gonna go to who knows where. Where we end up, we're gonna end up. We got some more hiking to do here at Yellow River State Forest, but I know people have been asking about the hammock, so I put the snake skin um, over my rain fly first. Normally I do that last. I don't know. It's this way I do it, and there's no right or wrong way. But here's what the hammock looks like with the bug net. Big super zero degree burrow on top quilt pretty nice sleeping last night it actually got pretty warm i couldn't tuck it up around my neck i needed to have a vent to let some of the heat out so i'd say it's a pretty good setup i love it Lark and Overlook at Yellow River State Forest. Used to be a cornfield down there, now they have it all trees. Which is not a bad thing if considering it is a state forest. And way over there, let's see if we can get zoomed in or not. There's the fire tower. Never been over to it. We're going there today. For new bluffs. This one's the Paint Creek Bluff Overlook. Never been to this one either. I know there's a hiking trail going up to it. We're just doing the quick scenic route. I notice I've been doing a lot of vlogging up here, which is good. Raising some money for the state, for the state forest. I'm sure they obviously put it right back into it by replanting trees, like down below. And I see a couple other fields on these windy roads up here, which are really cool. There's a bunch more uh, trees that are marked to get cut. Try to get down here without falling, would be good. That's the other campground. I 
Last night I drove through that campground looking for trees to hang and seeing that there's some people camping, hot tent, a yurt style tent. Has a little wood heater in there and they had that thing rolling pretty good last night. Another beautiful view, it would be pretty cool to see this in October. All right, we're almost out to the Cedar Point Overlook. It's another great one. I've seen many pictures of before. Sort of iconic cedar tree. Paint Creek down below. The sawmill. A lot of these overlooks are a short walk from your vehicle. So for those of you that definitely aren't into hiking, but would still want to go see this, get in your vehicles, get up here. Yellow River State Forest is a hidden gem that I'm sure gets used quite often, but holy moly, this is just absolutely beautiful up here. Some of these forest roads though, like the Fire Tower Road, you might want to have a truck or an SUV, anything low profile. There's one crossing that was pretty sketch, but still even so get up here. Check this out. Get out in this big world that Rob Puffins has. Totally agree with him. There's just way too much to see and do instead of sitting at home on phone playing video games or sitting at home playing video games. Alright, here's the fire tower. I believe it's the only one in the state of Iowa. That's left anyway. Don't know if there was any other ones before that. But cannot climb up it. I've been up a fire tower, especially that high, up at Lake Itasca State Park in Minnesota, and also the Elba Fire Tower um, near Whitewater State Park, which is southeast of Rochester. So it'd be really cool if the state would go and, I don't know, it needs some fixing or what, but it'd be really cool if they could open that up to, to let the people climb up that thing, because it'd be a heck of a view if they did get it all done. See, they took out the last set of steps. They've been having people scale this fence and still go up there. I'm sure they still find a way to get up there. One of the hike-in camping spots is Camp John Schultz. I've never been to that one. So I figured, what the heck? That would be a great time to go scope it out. Look to see if there's any trees. That would be great to hang in. Flat ground spots for, if, unfortunately, I wanted a tent camp. But for the hammock, as you all know. So let's make a quick trip of it and, and head out. It doesn't look like it's that far, maybe a half a mile ahead. So oh, let's go. And just like that, we're here. Pretty short, easy hike. No elevation gain. Oh, here we go. There's one site. Two benches. Oh man, there to there. There's my tree spot. There's no water, obviously, here because up the top of the hill. Might be able to fit. It hammock here, that tree in the middle might interfere with your rain fly. 
All right, let's go see what else this spot has to offer. All right, another nice spot, the pine trees. Beautiful fire ring set up. Okay, tough spot. Obviously, you can do a tent right there. Eee. I don't know. Not quite seeing anything I'm liking for hanging hammocks here. This is definitely a tent spot. Probably fit two or three in there. But onward. Looks like there's more like this along the way. Okay, one more. Nice fire ring, benches. That's a tent spot. You might be able to do a hammock there, that tree in the middle. Might interfere a little bit with your tarp. But I think you could survive and live with it. Yep, that's it from his tent. First sight looks the best of all. And then across the way, there's a big grassy open spot. But it's all on a hillside. The tent people will not like this at all. Let's see. Ooh, I'd be able to hammock it. Yep. Between those trees, that'd be a long stretch. That's too far. Yeah, we'd be able to hammock camp that one. Well, let's walk around to the end. See if there's any more. Oh, I was right. One more. Check it out. Maybe a tent there. Uh, looks like mostly a tent site. Trees are too small for hammock on that end. Well, overall, not too bad of a site. For two or for three or four, however many there are and onward well I'm gonna wrap this video up um, thanks for tagging along hope everybody had a happy Thanksgiving uh, I gotta get home and yeah, all that crap in the back there. The whole entire seat's full of gear. From hammocking to the uh, truck tent. So, I gotta be able to put away. Get stuff dried out. Everything got a little damp. Especially truck camping, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, once again, subscribe. Hit the bell notification. Share the videos with your friends. And also hit the like button. Thanks for watching and... See you on the next one.